Good morning, YTPC. Philly Piper Mike here. It is Wednesday, November 10th. It is uh, currently 52 degrees, going up to 66. Today I am smoking my <clears throat> Danish Pipe Shop Reborn Classic 50th Anniversary Pipe. It's a uh, remake of the Dan Pipe, classic shape, sandblasted. This is the black one, I have a brown one as well. I know a bunch of people are trying to get their hands on this, um, and they've been, I guess, out of stock. <clears throat> because they had such an influx of them. Um, there was a few people, I know a bunch of people on the virtual pipe club had gotten them. Um, obviously I got a pair of them. And I think, you know, just the news had spread that there were really great pipes and for the price, I think they're like $80 or 88 bucks, something like that. So, you know, for that kind of uh, value, really can't beat it and I think they just had a run on them uh, I think it was redesigned by L tank too so it's a great pipe um, it smokes everything great but this I mean this is what you want a flake pipe to be I mean it's tall narrow bowl super light it's just a, it's a great pipe. And in it today, I am smoking five from Huber's uh, English Perique, which was uh, sent to me. I had a sample of it sent to me by my good friend Pascal. It's uh, it's funny. It, it's. Uh, he wrote on the bag, he knows I don't like Latakia really, and it, and it said English Perique, and then on the, uh, you know, he wrote in parentheses, you know, no Latakia. <laughs> but I was like, English Perique, I'm like, oh no. And then I saw that, and I was like, all right, good. And uh, really good, I smoked one bowl of this before. I believe it's like Red Virginia Perique, uh, Burley, and a little bit of Cavendish, I think. Um, this is more of a like a ribbon cut, broke cut. There's some chunks of uh, some flake in there. There's ribbon cut, so it's kind of uh, like a kitchen sink type of blend. But uh, it is very good. get that uh, that Red Virginia Tang you definitely get the the like stewed fruit kind of sweetness from the Perique it's not a spicy blend I don't get spicy I packed a real big bowl of it during one of the meetings, and um, I smoked it all the way down until there was nothing left. It's, it burns really nice. Um, it's just another one of those great German blends that aren't available here in the States, unfortunately. And I kind of, part of me, like, uh, do these reviews, and it's like, it kind of sucks because you really can't get this stuff, but... I shouldn't say that. 
you can get it. It's just not readily available. You have to order it directly from Germany or you have to have uh, good friends over there that are willing to make purchases and ship them for you, which I greatly appreciate. You know, I just do them because A, it gives me something to review. I, I'm not that I, I'm, I have any shortage of tobaccos to review that I, I haven't done, but I really, it, was, it dawned on me the other day that I really should have just started. Uh, I might do this anyway going forward. Go back and write down all the blends that I've that I've reviewed or that I've talked about and. Because sometimes I find myself going, uh, did I, did I, did I do that tobacco yet? And then I have to like scroll through all my old videos and double check and make sure that, that I did or didn't do it, which kind of gets annoying. So I, uh. My other good friend, Sergio, we were talking about him and I both like, you know, pipe merch, shirts and stuff that there's really not a market for. Um, which I would, I would love to somehow change that if there was a way. You know, I have a Savinelli shirt that I got when I made it, uh, you know, they were doing a, a, uh, smoking pipes like if you ordered a, a certain amount of um, I think it was 150 bucks or more you got a free shirt um, and then they have like a smoking pipe shirt but that's really it I have a bones shirt which um, you know is cool too but there's not all, like, just, like I've, I've never seen a Costello shirt or like other Savinelli shirts for sale um I think Dana's Pipe Shop has, like, shirts, which would be cool. And I always forget to order one of, you know, so next time I make an order, I'll have to make, order one of them. But, um, he sent me a link. It was, like, the Virtual Pipe Club. Um, there's t-shirts and sweatshirts. So I ordered a t-shirt. I did order a Mutton Chop, um, Happy Piping sweatshirt, because I just thought that was cool. Um that he's, you know, Mutton Chop's an OG. Everybody, I think, that's ever smoked a pipe or gone on YouTube to learn how to smoke a pipe or has watched... If you're a, if you're a pipe smoker, you know who Mutton Chop is. Um, but I got the, the order in yesterday. It was, I don't know, it was from, like, Teespring or one of those places, and the, the, like the shirts are decent quality the sweatshirt's nice but like the, the screen printing on it is total garbage it almost looks like like you can tell when, when something's screen printed from like a copy of an image like the detail is, is, is shit and that's it looks like you know the detail on it, it's blurry, it's, it's, it's just horrible, I mean, I'll, I'll wear it, absolutely, because it's better than nothing, and I don't think the Virtual Pipe Club, I don't think they've, like, really released anything, I thought maybe that's what it was at first, because he was like, hey, you know, here's the link, and I was like, all right, cool, um, but it, you can tell it's, it's definitely just, there wasn't, like, legit artwork that created the screens to screen print it, um, and then the, the, it's white on, like, the sweatshirt's blue, like a navy blue, and then the the t-shirt's red, and uh, the um, it's white on red and white on blue, and it, it you can basically almost see through the screen printing. It's just it's complete garbage, and it wasn't cheap either, you know. So I'll have to ask uh, DDR. Assuming that 
somebody just, you know, created that shirt. It's just kind of like, oh, here's, a, here's an image from online. Let me just print it on a shirt, but... world problems um, but yeah it, it always kind of baffled me that there wasn't like you couldn't go buy like a Costello shirt or a Peterson shirt there might be Peterson shirts out there um, you know other Savinelli stuff you know it'd be nice to just you know have some gear to, to support support the brands you like Tell you what, I can't say enough good things about this pipe, and I know I've kind of said it ad nauseum, but they're really awesome pipes. They're so light. If I had, I, I can't remember what it weighs. I think it's like under 30 grams. I would think probably like 25, 28 grams. Um, super comfortable. And when I first looked at this pipe, it's got a, it's, it's just kind of a strange angle. You know, if you look at it, there's, it's. There's not really like a bend. It's like a straight pipe that just has a bend where the transition is. Um, and, I, and I didn't know how that would like sit or feel. It's really, really awesome. And for how, the other thing I like about it is for how small the bowl is or how small the pipe is, It'll smoke for a good long time because it's a taller, taller bowl. This actually kind of got me going down the, the rabbit hole of, uh, you know, stacks or chimneys. And I don't know if it's classified as like a stack or chimney, but it's a taller bowl. I had one Costello that, um, that stack, my military mount stack. Um, and then I got a bunch more since then because I enjoy you know when I wake up in the morning and I smoke my my morning bowl you know I get up a couple hours before work so I can enjoy a cup of coffee and uh you know sit there watch YouTube or you know read some articles or whatever it is and um I enjoy uh being able to just pack one bowl and smoke it for a couple hours. And I can do that with a, with a normal size bowl. Like most of my bowls are at least an inch and a half deep. Um, but I, I, I really like a bowl that's like, you know, inch and three quarters, two inches, because then you can really, you can smoke that thing for, for hours. You know, without it getting you know, I, I can smoke a, a bowl that say is an inch and a half deep for a couple hours, but once you get down to like the bottom third <clears throat> and below, you know, you're constantly having to relight and tamp and, you know, you really got to work to get that, the rest of those, that last, you know, maybe quarter of the bowl, I should say. Um, but when you have a tall bowl, you get that eventually, but you could, you could get that three hours in. So, just the reason I like taller bowls. That's why I don't own any, like, pots or tomatoes or um, any squat pipes. I don't know why. I just, I never, like, um, I think a lot of it has to do with the fact that I smoke predominantly Virginias and Vapors and I don't enjoy them in wider, shallower bowls. It doesn't, um, it doesn't really accommodate my smoking style. You know, I like to smoke slower and cooler. That's one of the things that, you know, as a newer pipe smoker, you know, if, if that was the one thing that I could recommend to everybody or a piece of advice I could give to anybody, even 
seasoned pipe smokers is to just slow your cadence down as much as you can. You know, when you first start out, you're so worried about keeping the bowl lit and you're just puffing away and you get mad when it goes out. And I mean, I, I, re I relate the bowl a lot because I smoke slow enough to where sometimes it'll go out and there's nothing wrong with a relight. You know, in the beginning, it's like, you think like relighting is like frowned upon is like relighting a cigar and it's it's not that way at all I'd rather have to you know have 10 relights than to you know chooch the pipe to where it's just like a hot mess and the bowl's hot and the tobacco's hot and you kind of especially under Virginia once you get that thing going and you have a giant cherry on it and it's burning hot you lose all the nuance of, of, of a Virginia and I think a lot of people that like my my buddy Ryan McCauley I would go out on a limb and say you know he's predominantly like a burly English smoker and you can puff away on those things and it's you're not gonna lose much you know you still won't get all the nuance out of the out of it but um, I feel like if you slow down, especially with Virginia's, that's how you, that's how I started to, to really, um, enjoy all the, all the flavor and the nuance. This uh, this English Perique definitely gets nice and mellow and sweet the further down the bowl you go. Um, it starts out a little bit tangier, and then it kind of just everything kind of melds and it smooths itself out about after the first third of the bowl. But anyway, guys, that's all I got for you today. It's Wednesday. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, hump day. A couple more days to the weekend. So I hope everybody's having a great week so far. Hope everybody's doing well. And with that... I will leave you and uh, I will talk to you on the next one. Hope everybody has a great day. And remember, the left lane is for passing. See you guys.